Well, hello there, ladles and jelly spoons. Hey, guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. We missed you guys. I know. We've had a Halloween pour and then a compilation video just up. Um, we have a cleaner. Uh, she has been in. <laughs> These cobwebs are fake, people. So are the spiders. Uh, left over from Halloween. Yes. Hope you had a great Halloween. Lots of spooky fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we've got a Tuesday night fun pour for you tonight. I'm going to do a stuffed pretzel. Okay. It's a pretzel in a pretzel. Again, just like <laughs> my previous pour that I did. I want to kind of replicate the technique, change up the colours, see how it goes. Okay. What about you? I'm going to do a ring... I think with a maybe a little wander to it. I don't know. We'll have to see whenever I get to the table. Oh, that's interesting. We're both going to be wandering today. Wandering. Exactly. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Yes. If you don't know what the fluid art experience is, where have you been all this time? <laughs> it's about two weeks and a couple of days away from the Dallas Richardson third fluid art experience yes so excited about this event that's coming up we've got nine wonderful teachers all teaching fluid art tips ticks trick tick blah 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 <laughs> tips tricks and techniques yes. even including the business of art too yes yeah so um please check out the website www.fluidartexperience.com if there's still there is still time for you to book tickets the only person that's sold out currently is marcy Mixed Media Girl, yeah. with their one-on-one -on -one consultations, but there are classes that are close to selling out. And if you've already got your class tickets, please consider getting the meet and greet, the wrap party, and the gala dinner tickets, yes. alongside your Thursday and Friday food options as well. Yeah. So uh, please go check them all out. Well, okay. Okay. Without much further ado, let's get to the table show, Pony. Let's, let's do, do it. Let's do some painting. Yeah. We'll see you there. Well, hello, ladles and jelly spoons. Well, hi. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> and welcome to the table. As you've just heard in our little intro, got some fun pours coming up for you. Yes. Um, you will see a rather large mixed media girl two chamber split cup here, which you can get from www.mixedmediagirl.com. Um, and I know she's having a Halloween sale as of today. I think it was extended. So please go check out. She always has tons of sales. Mix Media Girl is one of the Fluid Art Experience teachers. She is. And she's not teaching painting this time. She's actually teaching the business of art. Yes. So if you ever wanted to know things like how to make money, how to use social medias to promote your artwork, anything at all that's kind of around the business of being an artist, go check out her classes. Her one-on-one -on -one consultations have sold out. Yeah. There were 12 of them, they've all gone, but she still has classroom-based uh, classes available, so please go and have a look. All right, I did a pretzel pour on the channel not that long ago. I know, it was beautiful. I absolutely loved it. So I'm gonna do one again. Um, but I've changed up the colors, and I've thought a little bit more about how I'm going to layer my little cup. Let me show you the colours that we're going to use. So my opaques are Amsterdam's Primary Magenta and Amsterdam's Yellowish Green. Not Both of these are kind of a little bit contentious. There's not everyone that loves all those colours. Scandalous. Scandalous. Then I've also got two more opaques and that is the Greenish Blue, which we love, and then also the Turquoise Blue, which I love. Stunning colours. Yeah, they are beautiful. Now look at this big bad boy. This is 33 and a half ounces of Arteza's Pearl Electric Blue. Love that colour. I know, I'm so glad they're doing the larger I know, me too. sizes. And then we've got Pearl Green by Amsterdam and Copper by Amsterdam. So those three are our isolation layers. Um, you can follow the links to Arteza in our description box to deco art, to blick, to get your hands on all the paints, but I'm sure you've all heard now that Amsterdam paints are now being sold by fluid-art.co. So you can go and get your hands on their paints too. Yeah. Super cool. In fact, they're the only North American reseller that stocks every single size, every single color, including the Expert series, yeah. of which Jeremy has a favorite. Indigo. Indigo, it is, it's a lovely color. All right, so this is a 12 by 24 inch canvas. 
Let me show you, it's been a while since we've shown everyone the back of it. What I've done here is we've taped it. This is just with blue frog tape. Mm. And then we've got our push pins on the back, our huge big giant jumbo push pins to elevate the canvas off the table. And you'll see it's looking a little damp. Well, that's because I sprayed it with water. And what spraying with water will do is it will help you re-tighten the canvas if it's gone yeah. a little slack. And you need that tautness to be able to make sure that the composition doesn't pool in the middle. Exactly. Because you don't want to just like a big beautiful thing here and everything not at the ends, right? Exactly. Exacto mundo show pony. Right, I'm going to just layer this cup right here on camera. Okay. So we don't need a second shot. Um, I'm going to mix these layers up, um, but I'm going to put every single colour in both sides. Did you hear that? Yes, yeah, so you're gonna put every single color in both sides. I know, you looked very shocked and surprised. I am, yeah. that's exactly what I'm gonna do, show pony. But worry ye not, I have a plan. All right, so this is the wonderful turquoise blue. Nope, that's uh, greenish blue. Uh, greenish blue, I'm sorry. I even knew it was greenish blue. I just said the wrong color in my head. And then this is the wonderful pearl, of which I'm a big fan. So just a little bit in between love it and then here's that primary magenta now i'm sandwiching all these colors on top of each other they're not piercing they're kind of being layered um that's permanent red violet that one <laughs> <laughs> i did put magenta on the table but we didn't use it i'm putting that next to some copper then i'm gonna go in with the turquoise blue that i thought i had in my hand and didn't Love that one. Then we're gonna go in with the pearl. That's the wonderful pearl electric blue. And then topping it off with that yellowish green. I do love that yellowish green. Yeah, I know, me too actually. It's a really wonderful color. Put a bit of pearl on top just to top her off. Okay, so now we're gonna try and remember what the order was because we're gonna do it in reverse. So let's put some of that pearl in the bottom. Then it was the yellowish green. Yeah. Oh, then it was the pearl electric. Love it. Then it was the magenta. And that was next to some copper. Love that one. And then it was the Ah. Da -da -da. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the turquoise yeah. blue in there anyway. I don't think it was that one actually, but well, you got it a little mixed up. I did because I'm gonna then use this one, which actually was the first one in. Yeah, the bottom of the last cup. All right, there we go. So I've got all seven colors. Yeah, on both sides of this split cup, mm -hmm. and I guess the magenta is gonna meet somewhere in the middle. But, yeah. we'll, but we'll see. Okay, so the pretzel pour, what's it all about? Well, a pretzel or an infinity sign is, is that sign that looks like an eight, like that. So rather than ringing as I come out of this cup, I'm gonna go into the infinity sign and do it this way. Now, it's like patting your head and rubbing your tummy. Because sometimes when I'm doing this infinity, it kind of starts going like this all over the place. But I'm going to try and get as close as I can. And my plan is, like I did last time, to go down the canvas and then wander right back again. Because yes. it's that second pretzel that you then stretch out and looks like lattice work across the canvas. Uh -huh. So the first ones are going to be kind of sweeping and then the second one is a little tighter. Yes.
But there's one stuffed pretzel. It is one stuffed pretzel. It's a pretzel inside of a pretzel. Um, I do have a little bit of flow extender. This is some leftover greenish blue. Yes. Um, it was left over from a previous pour and I've just watered it down with a little bit of water. So it's a little thinner than the rest of the colors on here. So let me just get this all over my canvas. All right, so we have one stuffed pretzel. Let's tilt this bad boy out. Jeremy, what time is it? It is tilting time. It's tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out. A lovely latticey effect again from from the stuffed pretzel. Maybe not quite as effective as the first time I did it. I feel like I maybe didn't have quite as much paint on the canvas this time around. Or maybe I tilted too much off in the initial tilt, but still really love the fact that you get those kind of like webs of color with the bands of color underneath. And really like this part here with all the lovely lines in it. It's very, very reminiscent of a ribbon pour to me. So I'm definitely gonna keep playing around with this technique for sure. But in the meantime, I'm gonna take you guys in for a close up. Hope you like it too. Thank you everyone. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and I am really excited about today's pour. Well, there's a surprise. <laughs> I think I say that every time now. Why are you excited today? Because I get to do a double ring pour. And it's a beautiful size canvas. Thank you, it is. It is a 20, 20 by 24. It is, yeah. There it is, 20 by 24. And it is gallery wrapped, but it is not the normal kind of one and a half inch deep. No, it's, but it is It's one of the skimmier ones, but it yeah. is gallery wrapped, yeah. Yeah, these fit good in frames. Um, yeah, you said that before, it's a really yeah, good point. Yeah, so I got my two cups here. I'm definitely gonna layer one uh, for you guys. And then the other one, I'm gonna go ahead and layer off uh, off screen. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Why did you decide to do two ring pours? Because I have an idea. Okay. I'm gonna do kind of wandering ring pours. Okay. So I'm not gonna like wander the whole canvas. What I'm gonna do is like a regular ring pour, right. but I'm just gonna kind of go off center a little bit. Okay, got it. Um, and I'm gonna do the same to the other one. So that way there's a bit of more of an interest in the rings. Got it, okay. And then I'm gonna stretch it out. I love that idea. Yeah, it's going to be, I think it's going to be really interesting. Well, we'll see. Interesting. I think everyone at home people. will be the judge of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. So you're going right. to lay your cup. Yes. So first in, first out. I mean, last out. All right. So. Do a little bit there. That wonderful pearl. It is beautiful. It really is. And when you lay this on a black background, this actually, like, it's magic. It changes color. It's really crazy. It really does. Mm -hmm. Greenish blue. Greenish blue. I can't decide on if I want to go in with the... I am. I'm going to do it. Kappa. I don't want to do too 
too much of the copper, but enough just to get it like, you know, there. Um, and then next to that copper, I think I'm gonna go in with mm, the turquoise blue. Lovely. And then I'm gonna go in with green. Yellowish green. Yellowish green. A little bit more. Why not? Why the devil not? Why not? I'm gonna go in with this. Pearl electric. Pearl electric. And I'm gonna go in with the permanent red violet. Violets are turning violet, violet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start over. That copper. one. Copper. That one, that one, copper. Thank you. You can see the colors from, okay. where, from where you're standing. Turquoise blue. I like this story for myself. Yellowish green. And I think that's enough. Pearl electric. Uh, I'm going to leave it like that. Ugh, rude. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's and my cup. Are you going to do another one exactly the same? I am going to do another one well, exactly the same. Well, let's do some TV magic and we'll bring them back when it's done. Yes. All right, guys. So I have my deliciously layered cup. Really excited about this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and ring pour right here. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Now for the next one. Oh, you really traveled that one. I really traveled. That one went to Europe and back. Yes. Mm, interesting. Yes. Okay. I'm interested in see what happens when you stretch these out. And I'm guessing you're not going to wreck it because you don't need to. I don't need to wreck it. Right. Okay. Yes. I just need a flow extender now. Okay, guys. So I have my flow extender right here. I'm going to go ahead and put that around. Now that's the pearl electric blue that you just added a teeny tiny bit of water to. Yes. Just to make it a little more fluid than the paints that are in the actual rings. But it was just literally a squirt of water, right? Yeah, it was just a squirt of water. Just a little squirt. Yeah. Ooh, I like that sea of blue. I do too. Yeah. All right, guys, you know what time it is. No, I don't. It's tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out. Let's do it. I'm excited to see what happens under here, big boy. I'm scared. I'm scared for you.
Okay guys, wow. I had no idea this was gonna happen to it. That green is like in your face. Like it's amazing. I really love the colors here. Do you love it really? I do. Okay. I really like it. Because I think you, off the camera you were a bit like, hmm, I'm not so sure, but yeah. as it's sitting. It's, as it's sitting, I'm liking it. Yeah, me too. I really yeah. like it. A lot of the pieces that we do were very much the same color because we have a very similar color yeah. palette that we enjoy. It's a lot of blues, you know, a lot of like golds, a lot of purples. So it's nice to see something in a different. You know, I once had a bag of taffy melt in the car. Okay. And this is kind of what it looked like. You're just hungry. That's all it is. <laughs> Look nothing like taffy at all. You just need some breakfast. <laughs> I like it a lot. I do too. I think it's really cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it this way. I'm going to get my edges. I'm going to take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. Let's do it. So there you have it. There you have it. There you have it indeed. All right, show pony. Question. Yes. Do you regret wandering your ring? No, not at all. You don't? No. Nope. Sure? Yeah. Positive? Yeah. Okay, I'll believe him. Um, <laughs> tell me about your paw then. Like, what, what did you think? Um, you know, I like it chaotic and like all over the place and it makes it fun to me. So having done that, I thought it added like a lot of interest to it. There were the, the the lines from the regular ring pour on the sides, and then you had all this kind of crazy busyness that was on the center. But I liked it. I thought I thought it was really cool kind of how it came out. At first, I was like, "What have I done?" Right. And you know, just like my facial hair, I had to shave it for Halloween, and I was like, "What have I done?" Right. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it was kind of like, "What have I done?" Right. And then. I really fell in love with it. Good, I enjoyed it too. I think it looked really interesting yes. on camera. And I do like the juxtaposition between the big thick ribbons and then the lines that you created yes. on it. Speaking of Halloween, a quick sneak peek of what we did for Halloween because this is a clean shaven <laughs> show pony. Um, I really liked my pretzel, not as much as my first time that I did it. Well, not the first time because I've done a few of them, but the last time I should yeah. say. Um, I felt the colors were a little bit we're a bit more prominent in the last pretzel pour. Yeah. Um, maybe I tilted off too much paint in the first tilt, I think. I don't think I had enough paint left over towards the end. Mm. But I really loved the, the composition. Yeah. Um, it's just it's just a lot more to play with. There is a technique here. People think we're just throwing paint on the canvas and throwing it off again. It's not the case. No. There, there is a method to the madness. There is. There is. There's a technique to the tilt. Exactly. Exactly <laughs> that show planning. <laughs> Alright guys, happy Tuesday to you all. There is a little train. Yes. Right after us you've got Kathleen Cos Creations Art. Mm -hmm. Right after her you've got Nate Bright Art because those two guys are actually doing a little collab. Oh nice. So there's some premieres tonight after us. So please go follow us to Kathleen, Kathleen to Nate, two more of our fellow artists from the Fluid Art Experience. Yep. If you didn't catch the nine pours that we did for you very recently. Please go check that out, those out as well, because they were yeah. really fun. Pretty spectacular. We poured all of our free giveaway paintings for you. Yeah. All right, folks, you have a great evening. We'll be back here on Sunday. We will. And we'll see you on Sunday for some more fun pours. Bye. We'll see you at Kathleen's. We'll Bye, guys. You. Bye. So now it's time to spank the Patreons. It is time to spank the Patreons. And who are the Patreons? Well, they're a really special bunch of people. Yes. Who've decided to come and follow us outside of the YouTube channel. It's a completely separate account. 
and people can opt into different tiers. Yeah, absolutely. And those different tiers allow people different rewards. Uh -huh. So, for example, at one level, there's behind the scenes pictures and videos and sneak peeks of what we do in the studio. Uh -huh. And then at another level, there is a once a month live stream exclusively just for those yeah. gold level patrons. And then at another level, they also get a once a month live tutorial yes where we might take an individual technique and walk through it step by step by step by step so we really appreciate these guys because they're coming to us and supporting us outside of the channel it means an awful lot to it us it does mean a lot to us so we have some thank yous and at that gold level we have we have trisha west we have terry leshner we have tammy housebrook we have stephanie hancock we've got sharon luffy the wonderful pocket rocket Patsy Petrelli. <laughs> We've got Nate Bright Art. We've got Mamadoulas. We have Linda Serieni. We've got Kelly Stowell of Feral Arts. Yeah. We've got Jane Klein and Gloria Salaki. We have Gillian Kennedy yes. of Bell's Creations. We have Elizabeth Giuliano. We have Kathy J. And we have Amy, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes. And? And then on our platinum level, we have Susan Shepherson, Susan Chigori, Judith Jones Art, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Elaine Burton. Oh my gosh, we all know and love and has been with us pretty much from day one. Yes as most of you have so thank you so very much for being with us yes we really genuinely do appreciate you and your support it allows us the opportunity to keep painting and keep doing fun stuff for you guys mm -hmm. so thank you so very much thank you very much and to everyone else that's down here below we honestly can't thank you enough it really does mean the world to us so thanks guys 